Hello everyone. So we already learned about like and unlike fractions. So let us now learn how to add and subtract any two fractions. But before we start with that, I think someone is in trouble with these like and unlike fractions. Let's find out. Now I have seven balls here, and if I take one ball using my right hand and one ball using my left hand. In both the cases, the fraction is one by seven. Now, if I want the total fraction of balls that I have taken out, then I should add the fractions: one by seven and one by seven. But I don't know how to add the fractions. Maybe we should add the numerators and add the denominators. So the result may be two by fourteen. But I have seven toys here, right? Then how come the denominator be 14? Maybe I've done a mistake. Oh, don't worry. You almost solved the problem, except you got confused with the denominators. Let me help you figure it out. First, let me tell you the method of adding like fractions. If the fractions are like, we directly add the numerators and simply copy the common denominator in the final result. So in your case, the addition is one plus one by seven. Is two by seven. This also implies that you have taken two balls out of seven. Now, why don't you try yourself and add the fractions nine by ten and four by ten? Because they are like fractions, I should add the numerators nine and four and copy the common denominator. So, nine plus four is thirteen, and I copy the common denominator, which is ten. This seems so easy, but what if the denominators are different? Well, that is also pretty easy. To add unlike fractions, we first have to convert unlike fractions to like fractions. Once we do that, we can simply add those like fractions. But do you remember how did we convert unlike fractions to like fractions? Yes, I do remember how to convert them. For example, if I have unlike fractions three by five and one by two, I convert these unlike fractions to like fractions by taking the LCM of both the denominators, which is five and two. So LCM of five and two is ten. Now this LCM will be the denominator of both the fractions. So I multiply the numerator and denominator of three by five by two and one by two by five. So the fractions after multiplication become six by ten and five by ten. So clearly they are like fractions. Perfect. You successfully converted. 3 by 5 and 1 by 2 to like fractions 6 by 10 and 5 by 10. Now, can you add 3 by 5 and 1 by 2? After converting them to like fractions, I think the remaining process is same as we did for the like fractions. I should add the numerators and copy the common denominator of like fractions. So this gives me 6 by 10 plus 5 by 10, which is equals to 11 by 10. Amazing! You are doing great. So the result of adding 3 by 5 and 1 by 2 is 11 by 10. Now you may also know about how to subtract any two fractions. The method is exactly the same. So if the fractions are like fractions, we directly subtract the numerators while keeping the common denominator unchanged. On the other hand, if the fractions are unlike fractions, we first convert unlike fractions into like fractions by taking the LCM of the denominators and subtract the numerators. Now can you subtract one by two from three by five? Yeah, it's easy. We first convert them to like fractions. So three by five becomes six by ten, and one by two becomes five by ten. And then we carry out the subtraction. So three by five minus one by two is six by ten minus five by ten, which is one by ten. Very nice. You have got it perfectly right. Now, before you go, solve another problem for good practice. Try and subtract four by five from five by four. As they are unlike fractions, I convert them to like fractions. To convert them to like fractions, I take the LCM of both the denominators. So LCM of five and four is twenty. And now I multiply the numerator and denominator of five by four by five and four by five by four. So the fractions after multiplication become twenty-five by twenty and sixteen by twenty. 
and then carry out the subtraction. So the final result after subtraction is 25 minus 16 by 20, which is 9 by 20. Very smart. So guys, I hope you had great time learning how to add and subtract like fractions and unlike fractions. Now before we sign off, let us have a recap of what we have learned so far. To add or subtract the like fractions, we first add or subtract the numerators. Then copy the denominator of like fractions in the final result. To add or subtract unlike fractions, we first have to convert unlike fractions into like fractions. And to convert them, find the LCM of the denominators. Now multiply the numerator and denominator of all the unlike fractions by certain numbers such that denominator of all the fractions is equal to the value of LCM. After the multiplications, all the fractions become like fractions. Then, add or subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator in the final result.